Hi everyone, welcome to another ROG Ally video. In this one, I'm going over how I set up my keybinds to play Escape from Tarkov without sacrificing too many actions in game, but still keeping the controls comfortable. These keybinds or mapped buttons are actually set in the Ally's settings instead of in the game settings. So this can actually help like with other games, help you to play other games that don't have controller support. So I hope this video helps you in some way. Anyway, enjoy the video. Please consider liking, subbing. Um, if you've got any questions, just ask me in the comments and I'll get back to you ASAP. And uh, feel free to stop by my Twitch chat, kick chat. I'll leave all the details um, in the, in the drop-downy bit below. And uh, yeah, let's just crack on to the video. Hope you enjoy. So here we are with the uh, ally. And what you want to do first of all is go into the armory crate, which is either this button here, or you can click the taskbar button, symbol. Next, you want to go to settings, control mode, configuration. You've got gamepad or desktop, you want to configure desktop mode. Once you're in here, this is all the buttons that I've got assigned. So you can screenshot this if you want to copy it. Or directional pad which is the d-pad here you can see i've got uh arrow up and arrow down is two and three so this is to switch with like when we're in tarkov this is to switch the different rifles on your back so you can click three change your weapon and click two change your weapon back um left and right i've got it set to left alt and left control left and right this is to change your scope magnification um, check your mag, that kind of stuff. So you can hold this button and click like the triggers, basically, as you would holding left alt and clicking your mouse button. So these triggers are effectively your mouse buttons now. If I press back, you can see right click. Right click here is um, left trigger. So that This is for aiming, this is for firing. For the ABXY buttons, as you can see here, just zoom in a bit. So X, reload, F key would be Y. So like to search something or open a door would be Y. Uh, space, obviously would be A to jump. And C would be B to crouch. Or you can hold that. You can set it to hold in game to uh, like prone, lie down. Same with X, if you double tap X, you can like quick change mag. So not only, like you've got three three options in the game, like whether to hold the button, double tap, or single tap. So you can set all these buttons for a lot of different things. What else I've done, uh, which confused me at the start, to use these macro pads at the back, you can't actually use them to begin with unless you change they're, they're set as a secondary function when you first get the ROG ally. So you'd be holding this and press maybe A to take a screenshot. So you want to unassign the secondary function and then add the primary button. So you would click that and then you would go to keyboard and click. I've set the left one as Q and the right one as E. So then you would just set Q. So you would hit Q, that's that macro pad assigned to Q. I've actually done it the wrong way around. This is E. The keyboard, E, set to E, then you press back. There we go. So I've got Q here and I've got E. So as you can see on the picture, it's actually flipped this way. So it's Q and E instead of... Uh, the other way around. You just if you look at the picture on the on the ally, it's uh, it helps you out a bit. In, in case you set them this way, it's the other way. Um, but that's basically it. That's my keys. If you want to copy them, like this is what I find the easiest. I've just tried to mirror Call of Duty on Xbox controller. Plus, you've got the added option of like clicking the joysticks. Um. 
double tapping and these uh, macro pads at the back which come in handy for leaning left and right uh, what else have I got here RBG to equip a grenade and then you would press the triggers to underarm or overarm throw uh, I hold the left stick to sprint um, which is the shift key so for escape I've got this set as escape I'm going to options or whatever that I, I've got the left bumper actually set as tab so you can quickly go in and out your inventory if you're looting someone you can press Y to loot them uh, switch over some of their gear click tab you're back in the game what else we got uh, that's pretty much it right stick down so I've got right stick down set as O which is the extracts so I would click this down or uh, to see the time I've got left in raid or double click to see my extracts and to be honest I've played a few raids like this now and it seems so smooth and so easy to use the, the keys this way so if you've got an, an ROG ally and you want to you're trying out Tarkov then like try these buttons honestly it's, it's good it works I've, I've tried I've been at this for hours now uh, over the past like week to try and do something that works and this works uh, also the advantage of this is um, it also works with other desktop games and a big advantage is you don't really need to change much of your keybinds in game so if you're using the ally and say you want to plug in uh, or connect a bluetooth mouse and keyboard like it's going to be the same on the keyboard okay so other than that the only thing I need to remind you of is when you're in the game, if you click this button here to bring up the command center, make sure this is in desktop mode. Sorry. Click this button for the command center. Make sure this is in desktop mode here. Because if it's in auto, I'm not sure if it's in all, but if it's in gamepad mode, it'll be running off like A, B, X, Y instead of F, uh, R, spacebar, etc. So you want this to be in desktop mode. When you're playing the game okay so let's say uh, jump into a raid and I'll, I'll show you how the buttons work all right so that's us in a raid i'll just kind of show you some of the buttons so we've got aiming the macro buttons we've got lean left and right we've got a uh, pressed on the stick to run jumping and bunny hop just like normal if we've got our nade tab open the inventory use the triggers to move move things like that obviously you can't hotkey so if, if you need to heal you're going to have to double click which is what i do and just and, and use it like that tab out you can run about and reload Uh, we can close doors with Y, like normal. We can loot bodies with Y as well. Can't change guns just now because they have not got another weapon, but that's what we've got. Um, I forgot to mention actually this one I've set as check mag and or check chamber and unjam so the three lines here that's what i've set this button to got to mention that uh, we can check the time we can double tap to check our exits so i think where can we go to loot or something we've also got this one to escape we need to change any settings post fx or anything zoom Scavs have some guns so we can do these scavs. M700 right there. This guy's got a bag. Got an M1A. M1A and M700, that's not bad. I'm kind of trying to play the game behind the camera here, it's quite hard. Yeah, let's stick that in there. Stick that in there. 
Uh, we can double click this. Uh, we can right click this. Inspect and discard. That's how I discard things. You're just going to have to sacrifice your discard button for doing it the long way.